Hello guys, in this video we want to start creating the Angular Foodmine project. At the end of this video, you can see a header component like this. I know it's not so cool because it's the Angular part. So stay tuned for the next video to see how it could be beautiful. But for now, let's code it. Okay, let's go for the bullet points. Here we want to create the Angular part of header component. The first thing that we need to do is generate header component using ng command. Let's do it. Let's go to the terminal, create a new tab, and we can generate a new component using ng generate command. And the name of the thing that we want to generate, component is the thing that we want to generate, or we can use shorthands for generate that is G and component that is C and the name of our component that is header. Let's press enter. As you can see, it will generate four files for us. The first file is the CSS file that obviously is the style sheet of this component. HTML file is the template of this component. Spec.ts file that is test file for this component that we don't want to touch it because we don't want to talk about tests in this course. And component.ts file that all the main logics about this component will go inside here. And it will also update the app.module. Every single Angular project are also a module. So this app.module is the module of current project. Now let's go to the code and see the result. Let's go to the SRC folder. Inside the app folder, we can see that we have a new folder that is our newly generated component folder. It has those four files and the update that it did inside the app.module.ts file. As you can see, header component is imported inside app.module.ts file and it's added inside the declaration of the ng module. It means that the header component is part of this whole project that is also a module. Okay, that's fine. We did the first item. We generate the header component using ng command. The next part is removing everything from app.component HTML. Let's do that. Let's go to the code. Here inside app.component.html. This is our root components template file. Let's press command A and backspace to remove everything from here. As you can see, everything will be cleared for the result of the current project inside the browser. Let's go and check the second item. And the third item is adding app header tag to the app components template file. Let's do that. Let's go to the code. Here inside, we are inside the app.component.html, that is the app.component template file. Let's add app.header, because by adding app.header here, we can see the result of the header component here. So if we go to the browser, we can see the result of the template of header component. If you don't like to follow the default convention of Angular, that is app dash, the name of that component, you can change it inside the selector property of the component annotation. I don't want to change it because by seeing app dash, I can understand that is part of my Angular. It's not an HTML tag. It's an Angular tag. So we did it. Let's go to the bullet points here and let's check this one. And the last thing that we need to do in this episode is adding required elements to the header components template file. Okay, let's go to the header component template file here. Let's remove this. Okay, the first thing that we want to add is header itself. Header is an HTML tag. The next thing that we want to add is div that has a class of container. You need to know something about Emmet. It's super easy. That will make your coding faster. If you don't know anything about it, you can just write div that class container. But I strongly recommend to learn about Emmet. For example, if you write div that container, it will write this for you. So it will make your coding much faster. Okay. The next thing that we want to add is an A tag that has a class of logo, okay? It will go, the href will go to the hash. By adding this, we will say that don't go anywhere server side, but you need to go somewhere client side. 
that we use a built-in Angular directive that is router link. It will be used for going to different routes inside the Angular itself, not inside the server. So it should go to the root because it's our logo. And by pressing logo, I prefer to go to the root page. I don't want to use any logo here. I just want to use the name of the project for my logo. Okay. The next thing that I want to add is a nav for the links that I want to add inside the header and a UL and a lie inside it. I just want to have one list item inside this unordered list. That is a button that will go to the cart page. Okay. A tag that will go to the hashtag and a rotor link directive that will move us to the cart page. And it's anchor tag name is car. So let's check out the result. Close this. Let's check out the result inside the browser. As you can see, you have these two items inside the browser. And also this is done. In the next episode, we will add some style to the header to make it beautiful.